Hey everybody, and welcome to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott, and I've got a match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Mark on the left and Sandy on the right. We're here in a chance engagement. There is one point in the center of the board. As long as you are at range 2 of that point, you will get a victory point. If you are the only player with a ship at range 2 of that point, you'll get a bonus. One extra point. We've got Bosk, Manaru, Palab, Layton versus Boba, Tarok, and Cavill. Two scum ships, two scum lists that share no ships. That's quite remarkable. Now, Sandy is attempting the renewed bucket list. Exclamation point bucket in the chat, and you will see the leaderboard. Uh, this is a challenge that will... Uh, be for the foreseeable future there will be various challenges showing off new and weird combinations and ships and upgrades etc um, the players that complete challenges will be entered into a weekly raffle every challenge they complete will get them a new entry and increase their chances of winning some hexile prize tickets lots of exciting things new things up there uh, like these claim tokens from Hold on, I think there's a better shot of that. And here, in empty space! Hold on. Bear with me. Oh, that's because the spin wheel. Get out of here. But yes, those mysterious Canadian Nemo claim tokens. I fixed that. Anyway. So the, uh, the challenge here is to pull off a six dice procket from Cavill. Not super new. The missile slot's been on Cavill um, for a little while now, but Cavill just had his points reduced, went down from six to five. So with those new points come renewed interest in Cavill. Let's see if he can pull it off. Looks like just one. Oh, that's right. And because we are in the new scenario rules, nobody gets a point in the first round. Got to keep that in mind. I wonder if it's been ingrained in players who have engaged with 2.5 a lot to get to that center, get to that point as soon as possible. Well, right now, not going to get you anything. So going into round two, that'll be our first round where you can actually score points. This is chance engagement, the only the only scenario with half points. Looks like Gamut Key holding on to the green tokens on Bosk, reinforce and focus. Yep, yeah, and they're remembering no victory points. It is also, it's not per ship, right? Let's double check. Starting at the, starting on the second round, at the start of the end phase, a player earns one mission point if they contest the satellite. A player contests the satellite if they have one or more ships at range zero to two of the satellite. If only one player is contesting that satellite, they score one additional. Yeah, so that's what Sandy was going for, but not yet. Not yet. Dial's getting set for round two. Yay for Layton, new best three-point fill for Scum. I mean, Sonny's in there too. I love them both. Um, I've been adding Layton to a lot of lists because I like that I-3. It lines up with other things that I want to fly. But yeah, glad to see some M3As with viability. Sandy would have gotten the bonus the point, though, if it was turn two. Yes, but Mark knows he doesn't need to be there. He's got setup time. And honestly, things like Gamut Key or Moldy Crow, where you want a turn of setup, uh, definitely got a buff in the new changes to scenarios where you can't score points on round one. Dark One probe droids, experimental scanners, all things that 
uh, Jinden, all things that uh, you would want a turn to set up and then get into the engagement. If you're encountering Jam, you want to turn to lock obstacles. A lot of things that you might want just one more turn. Just one more turn before you engage. Last style to get set, Boba Fett. You want to do a hard turn towards Bosk, or do you want to just get out of here? Now let's take a look at Old Terry's ability. At the start of the engagement phase, you may choose one enemy ship at range one. If you do, and you are in its front arc, it removes all of its green tokens. Now that would be very sad indeed for Bosk if Old T comes over there and says, All those green tokens? Well, it'd be a shame if they all disappeared. Joe, five gifted subs. He must have seen that we were very close indeed to our first giveaway, and now we've triggered it. Thank you very much, Joe. After this match, we're giving away a blazer bomb. Thank you very much, Joe, for those gifted subs. Very much appreciate that. Very generous. Palob, the opposite of generosity. He will take from you your green tokens. His range two in arc. Palob, of note, not the only Moldy Crow carrier anymore. Dace Bonarm. Got the title, but it is unfortunately at five points alongside Palob. Wanted to celebrate falling out of the cut over the weekend. Don't worry about it, Joe. Stay in for the faction prizes. Oh. Captain Sugoi, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome aboard, everybody. Hello there. Just getting started here, moving into round two of this chance engagement, the first round where you can score points now. Thank you very much. So Boba, just a one straight, was that the coordinated boost? Nope, it's just his turn. Looks like we had a two-turn from Manaru. Does not like to turn right, but had to. And a stop from Bosk. Two straight from Palob. I don't know nothing about this game, but good luck. You know what? We just had a big change to the game. So few people know how it works. But welcome changes. Old T. Three turn. Just waiting. Waiting for his opportunity to go after Bosk. Now, unfortunately, Bosk is going to lose those green tokens this round. Will not have Gamut Key. Boba Fett. Range three into Layton. I haven't even seen what is on this Layton. Composure and Ion Cannon. I think I built that exact same one. Love it. Old T doesn't work at range zero. No. Neither does Concordia. So if you're going to try to get into range of Boss to strip all of his tokens, give yourself some room for the boost, right? Boost into range one. Do not just five straight. Because bumping does nothing for you. Looks like nothing goes through on Leighton, which triggers Leighton's ability. If you miss the attack, Leighton gets to... Gain an evade token, right? It's not evade action. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you're stressed, and you can gain multiple. Layton's going to shoot back. Ion cannon, no doubt. Two hits, one eyeball. 
Can't mod that with the evade. Double evades for Boba Fett. So nothing going through there. But hey, also noteworthy, we have two ion cannons on the board on Leighton and Manaro, so we might engage with the new ion rules. Mobile arc from Palab, one hit. Boba, one of eight. Yep. And there's our first two points for Sandy. Mark not getting in range of that central point. Two points is a big deal. The previous versions of chance engagement, maybe one player would get one point or two points by the end of the game from the objective. But now, as long as Sandy stays in range of that objective, they're going to get a point every turn. <laughs> Gotta say, seeing Palab at five points while Kyle Katarn is still at six is sad. I mean, he's gotta suffer for the sins of Heratani. They did raise Jen Urso. Um, uh, yeah, Jen Urso. Which was one of the more powerful things to do with Kyle. He can pass a focus at the start of the engagement phase, and then Jen Urso can turn it into an evade. Going into round three. Early lead for Sandy. Boba Fett coming into your back lines. Needs to be careful around Palob, especially with Terry. Terry is heading into the danger zone. Out maneuver and fearless. Ooh, crossroads. Roll him again. Looks like the eyeball. Mm, there's a crit in there. Sandy's player one. Do we have any overlapping initiatives? It's three fives on the right side. Four, four, three, and three. So, no. Outmaneuver is so expensive now. It is. Was great for a while with General Grievous. Not so much anymore. Yep. Looks like Palab and Leighton moving fast. They do not want to have to deal with Boba Fett yet. Bosk, one bank to the right. Do you need a reinforce in this position? In this position, probably not. Notorious Gamut Maul. Greedo and Contraband. Well, takes the Reinforce. Fine. Five straight bump from Terry. One bank left from Cavill. This is Ion Cannon Turret. Crockett, Watchful Astro, Contraband. Now, I'm happy to see Watchful Astro on Cavill. I think that came down, right? It's a, now, it's a two-pointer, so there's an actual decision to be made between that and R4. Watchful Astro gives you uh, the option when you rotate your turret or reload to take a red calculate. And yeah... Terry does not bother doing the red focus because Palop would just take it.
Boba Fett. One straight. Takes a target lock on Manaru. Shot out the back. Let's see what title. Marauder. So you'll get a reroll. Probably from Leighton and Marauder. Don't need them. Hey, oh, everybody's got them. Natties for everybody. So nothing going through from Boba Fett. Cavill and Old T. Now, I would normally... I would think you would go Dorsal Turret on Cavill. Because it's an all-damage turret. You get extra dice for it. But a 4 or 5 dice Ion Cannon turret. That's kind of a big deal. Especially if you're trying to line up a Procket. Maybe that'll help. Here's old T in the Bosk. Two hits. One eyeball. Reinforce absorbs one. Oh, and he's going to get notorious. Yep. Uh-oh. That's a strained old Terok now. So now, Old T's agility is reduced, and you've given a reload to Bosk. Cavill. With a target lock into Leighton. Two hits. Reroll. Oh. oh, yeah. Leighton needs three paint to, ab to avoid being ionized. Doesn't have it. Keep the focus. Take a hit and an ion. So that means in the new ion rules, if Leighton had any locks, they would be broken. You would be unable to take or acquire new locks. In the planning phase, you will set a maneuver on your dial. And put that dial on your pilot card. And then you will expose that dial in the activation phase and perform a maneuver. It is not revealing a dial. We'll get to that when we get to it. Oh. Three natural hits. Into OT. It's going to be three damage. After Bosk's ability. So there's one hull left on old Terok. Layton's debating whether or not to just go for Cavill. Nah, it goes to try and take out OT if you can. Ooh. Tim, welcome. You can do the three dice primary out the front of Palob. You would like to not have to spend your Range zero shot on Manaro shooting into 
OT. Still, just two. Can Terok do it again? No, he cannot. He takes a damage. And that is it for OT. Six points for Mark. Ernie. Welcome, Ernie, and thank you for joining Patreon. Oof. R5P8. This is the range one, punishing one shot. Rerolls it into an eyeball. Spins the focus for two. A blank on Cavill. Two shields. Gone. Looks like both players will get a scenario point because they are both in range two of that objective. Now, Leighton is ionized. Gamut Keys holding on to the reinforce. Corey, welcome. All right, going into round four. Seven to three. So Mark has more than made up for giving up the two points to the central objective. Really going to need Boba Fett to start performing for Sandy. Do we have any bombs? Not on Pella. We got thermals on Boba Fett, but that would probably hit Cavill. Now Cavill, you just one bank. I don't know that you can, you could too hard probably and not bump into Layton. Layton's gonna activate first, do the one forward. Uh, Cavill trying to proc it while Palobs here is a real bummer. But we did see Sandy adapt to that by target locking with Cavill. Could Manaru who have Ioned here placed a red token on Cavill and then used MIGs for the primary double tap? Yep, yeah, it looks like Anya has already specified yes, MIGs has to be a separate target. Good question, good answer. Road roll, round four, goes to Sandy. And we are indeed dropping a bomb. Looks like they're having trouble with the bomb dropper. Let's just get a new one. There we go. It's gonna drop a two with that thermal. All right, Cavill. Clinch, Cavill. Has anyone tried scramble with the new objective count? Not yet. Looking forward to it. Yep, dropping double thermals here. Does that mean Cavill's gonna run away? Ooh, fuses one. Do a 4K with Cavill. Well, speaking of turnarounds, Manaru with a sloop. Palab, 
two turn and a boost. Where are you going, Cavill? And there we have it. Yes, the new Ion Maneuver. So, Layton set a dial. Actually set a one bank. And then executed the one bank. In the direction that the dial specified. Kind of like how um, struts work. Whatever direction your maneuver is uh, facing. Is the direction you turn. So, we see the one bank Ion Maneuver from Layton. Nice. Cavill does, in fact, bump. So all those ships. Ooh, and takes the red focus because Cavill knows Palob can't steal that focus, doesn't have arc. Got a talent roll from Boba Fett. Do we have Contraband? Nope. Well, we've got Maul and Fearless and Boba Fett. We've got plenty of passive mods. Maybe only one of them active here. All right, Thermal. Explodes. Cavill takes one. Down to five hull. With three shots coming in. I missed it. Is TTS updated for the new Ion Maneuvers? No, I guess not. I think they just did a one bank on Layton's dial. There are um, commands that you can input on the ship to do it. If we need to. So do the new rules encourage combat rather than chasing objectives? Scramble definitely does. Our scrambles had the focus on its objective taken away a little bit. Chance engagement. It encourages you to be in the middle of the board, so you're going to... You're going to be forced into combat there. The beta is the ion has three options. Okay. Well, I'm in the beta branch. I feel like crates banning repositions also do. You're right. It's more of a risk to your ship now, picking up a crate and salvage. So sending all of your ships to grab salvage and trying to get, you know, four crates and four points per turn with those crates is more risky, for sure. Oh, I see what you're saying, Joe. Uh, so about ion and target locks. You break the locks that the ship that is ionized is maintaining. That belong to that ship. If somebody else, if an enemy ship has a target lock on the ionized ship, that stays. Yeah, it's not quite like gas clouds. I'm still mourning my B-Wings. They're still, they still exist. Do they go up? Oh, I need to go to the rebel section. Now I'm not watching the game. I'm looking at points. Uh, Braylon had his loadout go down. Gina went from four to five. Netrum went from 4 to 5, but got more loadout. Gina went from 4 to 5, but got more loadout. Hera dropped in loadout. 
Oh, auto blasters, right. So you have to put ion cannons on them or something. How's ca oh, I missed a pounding on Cavill. Has a loose stabilizer, two, four, five damage on six hull. He's on one. Here's two more hits. He's dead. That was the range one ion cannon. Cavill is gone. No shots for Manaru. Palob mobile arc shot into Boba Fett. Just one hit. Spins the Maul Force. Takes nothing. Is Boba Fett in range two of that central objective? He is not. So that's going to be two more points for Mark. Oh man, you can already see Chance engagement is so much faster now. Wow. Looks like it's three scenario points for each player. Sasha, wouldn't wouldn't the B-wing double taps be more prevalent, since they they're encouraged to go for that rather than bombs? Mainly since you're encouraged to take fire control over trajectory. Do you get one for each ship or one per player? One per player. And then if you are the only player with a ship at range two, you get a bonus point. So here, Mark got two points. Earlier, Sandy got two. Per player, yeah. Let me double check. Stabilize us foils. Oh, it is a bonus cannon. You're right. You could start with a torp, but then you would have to go to a cannon. You can go to a jamming beam. I saw Ali Pocknell. Do the double tap with the jamming beam. It was glorious. We are activating here round five. It is Sandy player one. Boba Fett, one bank and a boost. Ooh, looks like Palob and Bosk taking rolling dice for that thermal. Strain on Palob and a damage on the shield of Bosk.
Oh, okay. I was like, why is that four dice? Um, spins the force point. Hit it crit into Manaru. Double blanks. Oh my god! Should be, should be three, yep. Yeah. Three shields gone. This is not notorious because it's on Bosk. Marksmanship, Ion Cannon, Migs, Punishing 1, R5, P8. Yeah, boy, you sure can fit a lot on Manaru now. Layton. Ion Cannon, range 3 into Bosk. Two hits. Two evades. Two hits. Reroll into a second evade. How's Boba Fett doing? No damage so far. We'll see if that lasts. We've got an R5 P8 punishing one shot. There's the reroll. And the focus for three. So guaranteed to do one damage at least. On Boba Fett. One of aid. Takes two. Still got two shields left on Boba Fett. Oh, Leighton. Did I get that damage on Leighton? No, looks like Leighton did give up half points. Was that from... No, it wasn't from the bomb. A friendly bump? I don't know. But Leighton does give up half points. Palob lost a shield. Manaro shields down. Bosk has one shield remaining. This is chance engagement. You do get half points. And let's add up the scenario points. Both players are range two of that central objective. Five to 15. Ten point difference. Bosk. Bosk and Palob. Last dials to be set. Looks like Gamut Key did hold on to the Reinforce and the Focus. I feel like it would be a miracle here for Boba not to give up half points in a couple turns, which decides the game. If he runs double scenario points, decides the game too. Yeah, I'm, in fairness for Boba Fett, he's behind Bosk. That helps. He's also beside Palop and dropping thermals to discourage Palop from pursuing. So maybe you're taking two dice shots from Palop. Maybe they're obstructed. Ooh. Mark's doing a good job of not giving you room to deal and shoot with uh, the shoot into Bosk. Bosk onto the gas cloud. Does he have any target locks? Yeah, that 
target lock gets broken. Took a strain. What did he roll? Rolled a blank. There's a bump. So we'll be able to shoot into Leighton. Maybe you kill Leighton here. Don't take a shot from Bosk. Take a mobile arc. Do you ha Does Palov have front arc? I don't think so. Oh, you're right! VTG. Does he have back arc on Palob? Yeah. And it's a strained Palob? From the thermal last turn, I guess. Is it range one in the... Leighton? It sure is. Four dice. Two rerolls. Spends a force point for hit it crit. Uh, and... Something else? Oh, Fearless. Triple evades from Leighton. Direct hit! That is a dead M3A. Boba says M3A. More like it. Here's VTG into a strained Palob. Three V one. Reroll. Oh, three hits into Palob, who rolls a focus, spins the token, takes two. That's half points. Making an effort here. Manaru, no shot. Wow. Now this is a 2v2. Mobile arc. Ooh! Hit crit. Got one reroll. Ooh! Taking the crit. Taking the hit and the crit. Boba Fett shields down. Right after I... Did not... Seem too impressed by Palob's mobile arc. He puts two through on Boba Fett. There is a thermal waiting for Palob if he goes that direction. Bosk shouldn't be much of a problem. Are you going to Talon again on Boba Fett? I'm not sure where Palob's going. Drop another thermal. How many do you have? One thermal remains. You don't have any reload on this non-Andrasta. Fire spray. Oh, let's add up the scenario points. So half on Boba, yeah, that would put you up. Bosk probably wants to do the three hard so that he can threaten with that arc. I almost wonder if he goes the other direction. Yeah. Neither is great. Not dropping. Three bank with Palob. One bank with Manaru. Debating the focus rotate? No, just goes for the focus. 
Ooh, just a little one bank from Bosk. Is it time to lock? Reinforces the rear. One straight from Boba Fett. Should have, yeah, range one shot on Manaro. Thermal hits nobody. Range one, Boba Fett into Manor Room. Looking for half points, which would be two. Bring Sandy up to 12. One reroll. Force point for hit at crit. Two rerolls because of Marauder. That's right. One evade. Takes hit at crit. Hull breach. Hit, hit, crit. Sandy. Slowly but surely getting back into that game. Let's see if Manaru is still in range 2. Yeah. So both will get a single point. Surprise Manaru didn't rotate. I guess doesn't want to be stressed. So three points from closing it out is Mark. Heading into a corner. How can Boba Fett best capitalize on this? Do you let them just move away from you and you stay mid with Boba Fett? Get two more points in the next round. Go up to 15 to 17. And let them fight to come to you. Because, I mean, we could see 15 to 17 to 19 to 20 if Boba Fett is sitting in the center. It's not easy for Manaru to turn around and stay at range 2 of that objective. It's not easy for Palab. 3 hard, 3 bank from Bosk. I don't know that you need to go rush with Boba after these ships. Well, that's what you got to do with Manaru, right? All right. And then kill Manaru as Manaru has to come back in. Connor, welcome. Coordinates Palab into Bosk, who does a three hard on the debris. Takes the three ions! He can't turn into the center next round now. Oh no! We could see Manaru get fed to Bosk next turn. Bosk, uh, Fenru, Manaru gets fed to Boba next turn. Boba's going to do the one hard turn to the right. Bosk is on that gas cloud for the next two turns. Oh boy. Oh my god, look at Sandy! Weathers the storm and now has a good chance at victory. Does Bank get him off the gas cloud? I don't think so, but that's a good point. You do have to think about your maneuvers. You get some choice now. We are using the Bindi Ions, Joe. I just forget. Bosk landing on the cloud could get ionized again. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. What a match. 
Oh, you're right. Don't think you take obstacle consequences twice. Absolutely right. New rules, because you are rain zero, uh, actually you have to move all the way through it. If you overlap, if you move through it, you do not suffer the consequences. If you overlap, you do. Still unpacking all the new updates. Eyeball should take it. Sandy is player one. Going into round nine. Boy, I've really been slacking on my round tracking. One straight focus rotate. Oh, no. Doesn't rotate. I figured Manaru did not want to give Boba Fett... Fearless. There's the one bank from Bosk. He's still on. Takes one eye on. So yes, of note, if you move through, you get all the way off. You do not suffer them. But if you overlap again, you do suffer. There's the two turn. Oh boy, I thought that was a little close to the rock. There it is. Shot onto Manaru, I would imagine. Is it easier to half point Bosk? Twelve hit points, you would need to do six damage, you've done two, so you need to do four more. Gonna go into Manaru, who's got three and a hull breach. It's range 3 with a target lock, so 3v3. Do you lock both of those? Nope. Oh, fantastic shot. Hit it, crit. They're all crits. Spin that focus. Take nothing. Uh-oh. Well, let's see. Does, is Boba Fett the only one at range 2? Should be. Going to be 2 points. And Sandy is all caught up. 17 to 17. There it is, folks. Probably looking at it to side around. Way to go, Sandy. Loses old T very early on. Cavill in quick succession. But stays with it and is now tied going into round 10. Very exciting match. Well done, both players. Unfortunate there for Boss to take that eye on. But Mark took a chance, wanted to get that ship turned around. The Ion Token has bank options on it in the beta. Looks like that's what Mark did. Unless, I don't know if he dialed in the one bank with Bosk. I don't know. Um, but maybe my beta version's out of date. Bosk moves normally this turn, yep. Probably going to one bank towards the center. Try and block, try and get his arc facing Boba, and also try to get range two. Can you sloop left with Manaru? Yes. Is there room? Probably. Uh, Mark going. Mark says four K for Manaru. Okay. That probably gets you 
more distance. Mm. Round 10. Looks like it is Mark, player one. Too hard turn in from Palab. I thought that would be a little too aggressive, but wanted to have a better shot. Ooh, and coordinates the focus with Gleb. There's the one bank from Bosk. Make sure that somebody's range two of that central objective. Reinforces the rear. Okay. Soji, welcome. Oh! Do you stay here in Bosk's arc, but at range two of the objective? You are flanking right now, so the reinforce does nothing. Goes with the target lock. Huh. You've got a You've got two rerolls already. From Marauder and Boba Fett. And you get Greedo. If you're fishing for crits. Oh okay, well never mind. <laughs> Those two rerolls not gonna fix that roll. Um There we go. There's all the rerolls. Yeah, only rerolled three of those, meant to do all four. Greedo plus the force point. Hit, hit, crit, crit. Yeah, looks like you are flanking, so the reinforce doesn't do anything. Maul. For an evade, takes hit, crit, crit. Direct into weapons failure. One, two, three. That is half points on Bosk. That's putting Sandy over the threshold but can sandy uh can mark hit back with a range one from bosk and maybe a long range from manaru oh notorious puts the strain on uh-oh range one 4v1 with a reroll. oh that's half points on boba fett already yeah reroll that eyeball Use Greedo. Oh, hold on. You're right, weapons failure. Thank you, Soji. Yep. Re rack them. Ooh. So far, re-roll it. Notorious. Oh, all right. Didn't need to re-roll him. Gets two through anyway. Twenty-one to twenty. Uh-oh. And now Palob's gonna get a shot. Probably out the front. Yeah. Three dice primary. It may... I mean, do we want to check the front? It's not obstructed. Three hits, two evades, takes one.
Oh, is Notorious only in front arc? No, it just if you're in arc. Yeah. Alright. So Boba lives, but 21 to 22 after that central objective. GG! What a match! Congratulations, Mark! But Sandy! Sandy battles back! What a match. So thank you to both players for playing. And thank you all for watching. That'll do it for this one. Until next time, this is Scott from Hexile Gaming. Signing off.